year. Brown Critter is going to try for it again. We are live for more Super Sluggers baseball here in the Triple SL. I'm your commentator, the owner of the Birdo Bows and the commissioner, Alec Rome, here for more baseball. Folks, you have to give me a little bit of credit tonight. You have to give me a little bit of a break. It's a sitting night, although I feel still energized. Uh, went to Cinco de Mayo Festival today. It was a little bit warm, so uh, we're sitting tonight, but trust me, I think that a lot of you at home tonight will be standing at some point, uh, considering how last night's games went. I mean, God, each one of them were a bit uh, tight and interesting. Caden's in the chat on Twitch. How you doing? You can join us on Twitch or YouTube. With Bobby in here, let's take a look at the standings. In our fourth game of the night, primetime matchup. Birdo Bows, number one. Wario Muscles, number two, at Wario City. That is... The big matchup of the season so far. We've had a few of those. We've had a few top teams, undefeated teams face off against each other. But the way things have looked right now, these are two titans going at each other in Wario City. That should be an amazing game. This is the first game of the night. It is the Diddy Monkeys and the Bowser Monsters. I've already talked about this matchup a little bit. So let's get to the starting lineups. King Boo back in to pitch for the Diddy Monkeys. This is a pretty standard switch for them. As far as his start, I want to say this is either his fifth or sixth start for the Diddy Monkeys. And as far as ZRA goes, through nine games, King Boo has a 6.53 ERA and a 187 whip. That's both uh, the whip is below the league average, but the ERA just above league average, which is 6.27. And they're going to need to do that tonight against a Bowser Monsters team. Who, well, folks, that's kind of the big question mark. Bowser Monsters are still among the team's best uh, league's best hitting teams, but the problem is, is that their main players have gone silent. Sure, Bowser is doing some things, but. He's been stuck at 12 home runs for the last couple of weeks and has allowed King K. Rule for the Birdo Bows to get right up on his back with 11 home runs. Batting he has 67, but Booyo, she's a little bit better at 433. Big spot here in the first inning. It gets down. Dave's going to get home. one nothing. White Dynamite asks, has anyone even hit his bullet bill pitch yet? The answer to that, White Dynamite, is no. Nobody has hit Bowser's uh, bullet bill pitch yet. He's been a beast. But unfortunately, his team is 3-6. and six. That's the thing. Bowser's a beast, but it takes a team. Tiny Kong deep to left field. Watch out for the fire here with two out. Pell ball gets down, and that's going to bring two home. Throw for the plate. It's not in time. Error there in left field. Tiny Kong's the beneficiary. They get three runs there just from that. There was a lot of crap going on out there in left field, and the Bowser Monsters find himself in a deficit. Yet again, nice job by Tiny Kong to hit that one deep and give the opportunity for the error item to come in there. Good for her. She's honestly been playing pretty well. I think better than expected coming into this game, averaging 517 with six RBI. This is fouled off by Diddy Kong. Again, this team overall is pretty consistent. I'd say the least consistent hitter is Dave, unfortunately, at a 265. That's going to be a line out, though, for Diddy to end it. But hey, They'll take it, folks. You're not going to complain about four runs, no matter what way that you get them. I've been saying the Bowser Monsters reminder of the old Phoenix Suns teams, loaded with talent but struggling to, been, uh, to win the big ones. And God, it almost feels like it's still uh, <laughs> modern Suns teams. Uh, you got to think about that championship, that NBA Finals team from a couple years ago. Really felt like they should have won the big one there. Now they got KD and they can't even do anything. Two on with nobody out here. Nice little pull single from Red Magic Koopa, which will put up Tristan here in a big spot. Trying to get closer. Bit of a struggle for them to start this game. Really, nobody has been at second for the most part. Maybe one runner, but it has been a struggle. 0-2 oh here. King Boo with the third pitch swing. It could be a triple play here. No, it's just a double. Had to swing on the 0-2. Nice pitch by King Boo to get him to line out to short. We got two outs here for Blue Toad. Going to need some magic to happen. And there's a little bit of magic from Blue Toad who continues a solid season. At the plate. Has one triple this year along with lots of singles. Now Blue Critter looking for a deep drive or a single will do. That's in the gap. Bases loaded with two out. Cannot afford 
to mess up this situation, but here's somebody who just messed up in left field. It's Blue Magic Koopa. And to be quite frank, he messed things up earlier in the last game, but that's not a mess up there. Pebble's going to get down. He's going to get two home, and that's an RBI single. Two RBI single for Blue Magic Koopa to cut the lead in half. Nice that's job. Great. We've seen him have a couple stretches this year that have been not bad. Diddy has a 508 through about 20 and two thirds, but that is going to be another run allowed. Nice job by Boomerang Bro to get home another RBI. We got a one run game here, folks. Lock in. One run game. Runners on first and second. This is big two out rally for the Monsters. They have lost five in a row trying to not make it six. Monty Mole is kind of an enigma, to say the least. I think he should probably get moved from shortstop position because I think the Blue Critter is likely a better candidate for that position than he is a catcher. Strike three, swing, and he's out. And Monty Mole will end the inning. Unfortunately, can't bat anybody else home. Human nice strike out. The, the players. You can hit the bullet bill virtually every pitch. Except for maybe daisies and peaches. Those are tough. This is a double for Yellow Yoshi. Wow, what a double for him. That's going to put runners on second and third with nobody out here for the Monkeys. They're looking to take back some of their lead here. This is at least going to be a sack fly likely for Blue Yoshi. As that's going to go to Tristan. Big throw. Watch out. Could be close. It's not. Nice one there. Sack fly to make it 5-3. to three. Nice job again by Blue Yoshi. Decent contact hit, and really, he's been solid. He's better than his counterpart, Yellow Yoshi, only by a smidgen. And that is his third RBI of the year, thanks to that sack fly. Tiny Kong had a deep drive that ended up turning into an error, and she is not going to add to it. And this is a big-time double play. To end the inning, they get one. There's Monty Mole trotting back inside. Maybe he can make up for what he did last inning. Not Five a homer this time, but still very, very good considering the circumstance. Now, did he try to get this batter out? Keep it a two-run game here. Red Magic Koopa. This is a nice ball. It's going to at least get Bowser home. It will. No, wait, Bowser doesn't go. Now he goes late. Throw to the plate. He is safe. Safe at the plate. And how could you not get charged? That ball goes past. Red Magic Koopa advances to second. Those close plays tend to always favor the runner. It was a good effort by Yellow Yoshi trying to get it in, but you cannot stop a train coming at you. Definite size difference there if I've ever seen one. Nice job by Red Magic Koopa. Where base running to get the second. This ball is going to get into the gap as well. Red Magic Koopa is coming home. Tie ball game here in the castle with the Tristan RBI. Here's King Boo with runners on the corners. Nobody out. Can he find the magic at the right time? First ball is swung on. It's going to get into the gap too. Yes, it gets down. Diddy's coming home. They have the lead again. RBI single from King Boo, and it's 6-5. to five. Back and forth we go here. Multiple lead changes already. The Diddy Monkeys are trying to keep the momentum. Nice job. But King Boo, I mean, look, he's been steady. I, I wish that King Boo would have done a little bit better in the hit, the home run department. The uh, slugging department, still slugging 892, so doing better than his average. But this one's on the ground. Going to be a double play. No, just one, but that gets another run in. That is uh, what I like to call sack hit, folks. That gets Dixie in. And now here's Dave at the plate who struggled this season. He's got a runner on second. That is a hot ball foul. Just east of the first base side. This ball is also going to be just foul, Lakito says. Good effort from Dave. But here comes the bullet bill. Strike three swinging, and it was a star swing two. Didn't even help him. Get out of here, Dave. Unfortunate swing for them. And so now there's two outs. They still have the lead by two, but Dave has a strikeout. His first, uh, his, uh, yeah, it's first strikeout of the season, unfortunately. And watch out here. Bowser could get another one out as this is an 0-2 count. He's got all his star pitches. Watch out. Fastball down the middle. Bye-bye. Gets him out of the inning, finally. Something. Bowser. But Bowser, folks, has not had a home run in over five games. But this is a no-doubter to center field. That streak is over. 13th home run for the home run king. And it's a one-run ball game. 
Talking about an announcer's curse potentially changing things around. Folks, I got to make a correction. It has been one, two, maybe three games. Three games since he's had a home run, but now finally that streak is over. A little bit shorter than I thought, but what a hit by Bowser to end that. This ball is pulled foul here for Red Magic Koopa. 0-2 in a one-run game. Top of the six, folks. This is a tight one. You don't want to go anywhere. On the ground, nice 6-3 as Blue Yoshi hustles to that for the second. Now it's Tristan. One-run game. They're going to have only one more inning to try and come back in this game. This ball is going to get down into left center field. That will get Tristan to first. He won't go for second. But that is huge. Now you have Blue Toad, who has not hit a home run for this team, but other Toads have hit homers this year. It's over the head of Yellow Yoshi, and that's going to be runners on first and second. Rather, oh, watch out, no. Oh, he's safe at second. Tristan got greedy and almost caused a disaster. But now Blue Critter has two home runs. Big spot for him. This ball is high. Near the warning track. Watch out for the bomb. Oh, but she moves out of the way. Dixie costs him again. And that's going to be the lead. Dixie goes out of the way. And another situation that made absolutely no sense for her to do so. And that's going to cost him the lead. I mean, what was coming? There's nothing there. Dixie cost them two runs with an error. And Blue Critter is going to get over to third. Unbelievable scenes. Will this cost the Diddy Monkeys the game? Now it's a two-run lead in favor of the Monsters. And there's still two out. Blue Magic Hoop with the RBI there. This is some crazy stuff. We saw some of this yesterday and in our last game day. But now Dixie might be costing this team again. The Bowser Monsters have lost five in a row and just magically like that. They have the lead here in the top of the six at home. This is on the ground. The inning will continue. Nice single from Boomerang, bro. We're batting around the order here, I think. Back to Monty Mole. Monty Mole was able to find something in the center field. It did get caught out, though. This one will be an out. Monty Mole, another example of what I would like to call an inning killer. He grounds that out. But, hey, what an inning it was for the one. Bowser. Big at bat for her. The 0 1 is swung on. On the ground. Monty Mole is. Oh, close play there. Safe at third. Did not need to go for third. Monty Mole should know better. Monty Mole should know better than to go for third in that situation. Trying to go with the lead runner, but did he so fast? Now they got runners on first and third for King Boo. Now here comes Bowser. Bowser knows that he needs to start unloading the bullets here, unloading the clip. But this ball is on the ground. It's going to get one home. It's a sack hit here for Boo, King Boo. And it's 9-8, to eight, a one-run game for Red Koopa, who was the hero yesterday. And now Bowser is done. This is a big spot here, folks, for Red Magic Koopa. And what did I say at the beginning of this broadcast? If you can get to the Magic Koopas, you have a shot. And they got a real shot here, but unfortunately, that's a double play. It's still a one-run game. They're going to need the seventh inning here. Last time he was at the plate. The 0-1. It swung on. This is a deep drive again. They could have a shot at this one, though. It's at the wall. No, they don't. Bowser with the second of the game. And makes it a two-run game. A solo shot could be huge in the context of this game. Just over the head of Dixie, and man, she's had struggles out in center field. Play, but that is an error on Blue Yoshi. Gets Red Magic Koopa aboard. This is going to be the 4 6 3. Doesn't matter there, but what did matter is Bowser. Solo shot deep to center field. That is going to be a potential difference maker, but watch out. You have Hammer Bro up. If Dave can get aboard, Hammer Bro has five home runs. Bottom of the seventh, the last inning. Will we see any more baseball on the ground? Pass Bowser. Dave gets a single. Only batting 265. He gets on board. And now the tying run is at the plate. The first pitch is swung on. It gets down. Blue Toad is slow. Dave is going to get to third. Nobody out. Strap in, folks. Hold your horses. 
This could be another comeback for the ages. Down two, there's been so many lead changes in this game. Yellow Yoshi at the plate. This one is swung on. It's grabbed by Monty Mole, and he gets the double play. What a double play by Monty Mole. And they're down to their last out. I know I've criticized Monty Mole's play a lot this year, but that could give them their fourth win of the season. Steal for the plate here. They're going to bunt. Why would they bunt? It's two outs. Why would you bunt? That's the game. Unbelievable stuff here. This is one of the biggest mistakes any team has made all season. You don't bunt with two out. And the Bowser Monsters are winners again. Their losing streak snapped here at home. They finally get in the win column. They're four and six. What a mess that was. And I imagine that they're going to need it against the DK Wilds. If the DK Wilds and uh, Brown Critter and Donkey Kong in the 8-9 spots, if they can find their bats and find the right ball, they're going to be dangerous. But it's Yoshi Park, and it seems like Yoshi and Birdo really like playing here. I know that Yoshi has lost here a little bit before, but... I think this is the right place for them. I don't know if they wanted to do this in the jungle. They got to beat DK here at home if they want to go to 4-6 and six and keep in the playoff hunt. And so do the DK Wilds. They need a win right now. And we're going to find out if they get a hit. Who if they get a hit home runs. Doubled his home run total last night. Had two and now has four on the year. Could it be five? Deep drive, right center field, watch out for the train. We'll be in time, it might be over the train it is, but that interference luckily gets Baby Daisy to third, nice tag up, and so she'll be in scoring position with two out here for Yoshi. Yoshi, though, folks, is almost one of the worst hitters in the league. I don't get it, it is shocking. Other Yoshis in the league are doing better than the OG is, and unfortunately, he's not gonna help that. What a play, what a play. By Yellow Shy Guy, you could have gotten the one at first, but decided to be fancy and just slung that one to third. It is nothing. The 0-1 is on the ground. Double play incoming, you betcha. Just in time to save the run. And we're still scoreless. What a double play. By this so show. essentially a wash there here in the bottom of the second on the ground, pow ball not going to... Oh, it will matter. But watch out for Eli there. Can he get to second? He will. That's an error on Donkey Kong. Thanks to the pow ball. Joe is in the chat. Thanks for stopping by. Glad to see you're here. Strike one here on Baby Luigi. Runners on first and second. Can Baby Luigi get this one down? He will. Base is loaded with two out. Here for the Yoshi Eggs, trying to win at home and go to a four and six. Early in the game, but Baby Daisy just had that great double in the first inning. Stars, star pitch. This has got to get down. It does not get down. Unfortunately, they strand three, and we are still tied at nothing after two because with of all the mistakes. DK, though, with a deep drive. Deep to center field. Is it deep enough? Watch out for the train. It will run her over. And DK is going to get to second. Unfortunate there for Baby Daisy, but that is a double. We'll call that a double. A lot of times when I count errors, it's normally about if it's on the player. There's nothing she, sh she could have done there to prevent the double from happening. Here is Brown Critter with five home runs this year. Strike two on him, though. Eli trying to get out of this section here. Star pitch. This is swung on, and Brown Critter better than the star pitch. That's going to get past Baby Mario, unfortunately. That's the first run of the game, and it's the DK Wilds who lead. But, folks, what have we talked about this season with the DK Wilds and leads? They cannot hold on to them. They've had leads as big as six and still could not maintain it and win games. Eli aboard here in a one-run game. Contact hit on the ground. Watch the green shell moves everybody over like it's a lawn. And that's going to be an error there on Yellow Shy Guy. Not his fault, but it is the green shell. It's an error item which gets aboard Baby Mario on the ground. Will be a double play. It won't be. Not in time. Advances the runners with two out. So opportunity if Baby Luigi can get somebody in. He has no RBIs this year, but nine hits, including two doubles. Here is the first pitch in for a strike. A little bit of a curve caught the left edge. 
the 0-1. Swung on by Baby Luigi over the head. The star pitch not going to work. And here comes Eli for home. They have the lead. Baby Luigi, a good time to find his first RBIs of the year. Gets two of them. And the Yoshi Eggs take it back. Nice job, Yoshi, Eggs, and Baby Luigi with the first two RBIs of his season. What a spot there. Again, highlights coming up on YouTube and TikTok tonight. This is on the ground for Baby Daisy that will end the inning, but Baby Luigi, is he going to be the hero? I mean, with how low scoring this game is, you never know. That could be the game winner. We still have it's this close of a game, but sometimes... The decisions for bunting out here have been suspect. This is a sack bunt tagged out easily by Red Pianta. Advances the runner to scoring position, especially with somebody who can hit the ball deep. Good time for you to show up, folks. If you're just joining us, a 2-1 game. DK Wilds looking for their second win of the season. What a drive by Donkey Kong. They got the lead back. Go ahead, Homer, for DK. I almost lost my breath. Because I knew what was going to happen there. It was Donkey Kong's sixth home run of the year. And they take the lead back. Three to two. Got him what they needed to do. And I think he is a starter moving forward for this team. Four and two thirds again for him. Yoshi with the drive. He's been so bad all year. It gets off the wall and he has a double. Yoshi's been terrible this year. I got to be honest. That's a huge double for Yoshi in a one run game. Red Paratroop has had some drives. But that is not a drive. Bad, bad ground out. Unfortunate there for Donkey Kong. Or fortunately for Donkey Kong, that's a ground out to get out of it. Three Big spot here for Eli. If you can get out of this, you can get to the seventh. 0-1 on boot. The 0-1 is swung on, and it's just foul. Man, I thought Red Critter would have a shot at that, too. Instead, it's down to his last strike, and he had bad, but it doesn't matter. That's going to get him aboard. Peter's going for home. Close play at the plate. He's safe. Safe at the plate for two. Peter turns the corner in an unbelievable moment. I thought he was for sure out, but baby Luigi couldn't get this in. He had to use a cutoff, and I think that's what made the difference. Wow, what a play there by Peter, and Boo gets credit for the RBI, and it's a two-run game now. That is it for Eli. Unfortunate that this might be a loss for him in the stat column. But he had a great effort again, five and a third. He's pitched very well for this team so far this season. Not going to be the reason why they lose this game. And honestly, it's not like they've had a lot of reasons. Strike three, though. Nice job, Yoshi, with a strikeout here. With the bases loaded now, you need a strikeout. Donkey Kong had a two-run shot earlier. This could end the game with runners on first and second. Deep to right field, but they're there in time. Will they grab it? What a rob. What a rob by Baby Luigi to keep it alive. We are down to bottom of the sixth here for the exit home. Eli on the ground. Unfortunately, that is going to be a 6-4-3 double play. Strike two, though. Yoshi on Yoshi here. The 0-2. It's a star pitch. Rear from Yoshi on the ground, and that is going to be a ground out. 4-3. They get out. He's going to get on with Red Pianta, who hasn't found a home run this year, but there's no better time than right now. First pitch is a strike. Red Pianta likes to go contact, but I think you need to go for the fences here. This is on the ground. Will it be the end of the game? It will be. Red Pianta grounds into a double play, and the DK Wilds, Find a win against the Yoshi Eggs and their season for the moment. Hanging on a thread, but it is still alive. 4-2 to two, the final score. The Eggs, unfortunately, dropped to 3-7. and seven. Their prospect. The rest of the lineup for them is the same as always. You're hoping that Petey Piranha can find some magic in that bat. He had a couple home runs in his first game here uh, against Diddy, but they lost that game in a walk-off with King Boo after an error. Uh... Can they find some magic here again today? Petey Piranha needs to show up. If he shows up, they have a chance. If he doesn't, watch out. The Daisy Flowers could be going to 8-2. and two. Here we go. The hitting accuracy, but has two home runs now as well. So we're seeing some power out of Wiggler. And this is some power out of Boomerang, bro. That ball's down. There's the geyser. 
Blue Yoshi gets ran over, and Wiggler's turning for home. He loves to go for home, and Wiggler is so fast that he will get home on the double from Boomerang, bro. Nice job, Wiggler. Unfortunate there from the geyser. Can't do anything about that, but Wiggler gets home again. His 13th run of the year. 13th time he's hit home plate this year, and it's one nothing early, and here comes Funky Kong. Nine home runs. A uh, mountain of RBIs. He is the best in the league when it comes to getting people in and getting scores for his team. Deep to left center. Goodbye. Tenth homer of the year for Funky Kong. And it's staying a party for the Daisy Flowers. 0-1. Off speed. is swung on. And that is pulled right down into right field. Great hit for Brown Critter. They got two on with nobody out. Brown Critter's 14th hit of the year. He has four home runs to go with it. And now here is the man that I think needs to show up right now. He has six home runs, but only batting 441. It's PD Piranha. Big spot here for them to tie the game, potentially against one of the best teams in the league. 1-0 here. Ball for Blue Dry Bones. Two balls. Good count here. Hitters count for PD. This ball is opposite field. Way deep. Could it get to the pole? It is just foul. Unbelievable. We need a replay on that. I thought that was gone. This is a ball, though, that's deep. Will it get over the wall? No, but it's going to get one home at least. Waluigi's safe at home, and it's 3-1. to one. I cannot believe that that ball in left field was not gone. I think we need a replay on that. I would call that akin to the Ravens-Patriots AFC Divisional game where that ball curved over the top of the post, but they called it no good, and we got no review on it. That's how I feel about that potential homer from Petey. But nonetheless, there's no out for Tim here. Tim has been okay, 375, with one home run, by the way. Don't forget that. This is on the ground, though. Oh, it's an error by Toadette, and it's 3-2. to two. Just like that, 3-2 to two, Toadette has had a rare error here and there, and unfortunately, she cannot wrangle that ball in. And watch out, the Waluigi Spitballs have come to play ball today. Red Yoshi. Big drive from Red Yoshi. It's going to get deep to center. But it's caught by Wiggler. Nobody can tag up there. It was a line drive. Now Purple Toad. 483, one of the best statistical hitters on this team. This might be good enough to get Petey to tag up here deep to the wall, but grabbed. Petey does not tag up, though. Not fast enough for that. And so runners on first and second here. Thought they would take the lead, honestly, with how this had gone for them. They had runners on first and second with nobody out, but two flyouts just like that. And there's two outs. Bottom of the first here in our third game of the night in the Triple SL. How about Blue Yoshi? Only his eighth hit of the year for the Waluigi Spitballs, and it loads the bases. And it brings up Red Koopa, batting 423, 11 for 26. And unfortunately, he lines that right to Daisy, and this team strands more runners yet again. They strand three. It means it's three to two, but they got the two. That's what matters. Yeah. It's not. Funky Kong had a drive. In the first, and this is another deep ball, but watch out. This is more catchable. Blue Yoshi's got a hustle. It's off the wall. Wiggler's going to get home. It's a single for deep, for Funky Kong. It's 4-2. to two. Really close. Wasn't sure if that was going to get gone or not, if they were going to rob this ball, but it just hits the top of the wall. Wiggler gets home again. 4-2. to two. Nobody out here with runners on... First and second, and the best hitter in the league up at the plate. Just does not miss. He is 818 out of 100. And guess what? You could have guessed that was going to be a hit. 80% of the time he gets a hit. And guess that brings home Boomerang Bro, and it's 5-2. to two. The rest of the team is not really helping, especially with Purple Toad giving up a base out there to Wiggler. 0-2 oh, here on Toadette with two out. Funky Kong at third, trying to make it 6-2. to two. Swing, nope, that's straight to Waluigi. But still tacked on a couple here in the top of the third. Long game still underway. 
We play seven. But when it goes and past her, it hits her glove. I'm calling that an error. And so that will get aboard. Purple Toad with nobody out. The Waluigi Spitball stranded three earlier. They desperately need to take advantage of this if they want to get to their fourth win of the season. Meanwhile, the Daisy Flowers, one of the best teams in the league, they have a bases loaded situation to get out of. Blue Dry Bones is now tired. I think there's no better time to put in Daisy personally, but he's staying in there. What have I said? Do you stay one at bat too late? We've seen too many times this season that a pitcher is too stubborn to pull himself on the ground. It's going to be a, a 6 4 3 that does bring home Tim. It cuts the lead, but again, folks, it's just not enough. You need singles. We don't want to be grounding out to double plays and clearing the bases like that. Blue Dry Bones is done. He allowed three, and Daisy's coming in, and I think this is going to be difficult. She does not give up a lot of runs, folks. But this is going to be a hit given up. She gives up one right away on the first pitch. Red Koopa with an RBI, only his second RBI of the year. And this is a one-run ball game. Watch out. Waluigi Spitballs are trying to be on upset alert, folks. This is Green Noki. Green Oki might be one of the only players in the league that might have a shot at hitting Daisy's star pitch. This is a big drive from Green Oki. Holy cow. Didn't know she could hit one that far. Watch out. One and one. This is the second ball. Hot one. Oh, just foul again. Green Oki is looking to swing. The one, two. She's going to have to swing at this one. This is a pop fly. And what is Red Koopa doing? He's just running around because that's two and now three. Close one that's in the top of the fourth. Daisy! Oh my goodness! Daisy gets it! Home run! Her second of the year! And you could have called that one a no-doubter! They didn't even try for it! Daisy hits a bomb to right center, and she trots on in and gives a kiss to the crowd. It's 6-4! to four. Now Ethan, with nobody out, will ground out, unfortunately. But wow, Daisy, how about that? Continuing to prove that I think that she deserves an all-star spot for the West this year. You can vote in the all-star game. The link is in the chat. And we'll show the QR code a couple more times tonight on breaks. Blooper, grabbed by Waluigi. Nice job. Waluigi, I think, has been a solid uh, start at shortstop sometimes when he's not been pitching. He did pitch tonight for a few. Didn't last very long. Tim trying to recover here. Let's up another hit. And guess what? Wiggler is on base for the third time tonight. And we're only in the top of the fourth. He could be on another potential star effort for him. This one stays fair by Boomerang Bro. What a weird ball. That curved. It's, I guess it's not surprising because his name's Boomerang. But it boomeranged into right field. And now you got two on. And this is a disaster spot coming. But watch out, it's a line drive. Funky Kong. Weeks, the three and six teams need to find some wins. This ball is deep from Brown Critter to the wall. It is gone. Brown Critter ties the game. It just gets over the top of the wall and over the long reach of Wiggler. Unbelievable stuff there. And we are tied at six. I cannot believe that. And there's still nobody out. Now, Petey Piranha has six home runs this year. Can he hit the go-ahead? Second one is swung on. Deep to left field at the wall. It is fair. It gets down for a double. It's not a homer. But Petey Piranha's aboard. And watch out. The Waluigi Spitballs are certainly in this one. Two-run shot from Brown Critter. Brown Critter's fifth of the year. I don't remember if he had one earlier in this game or not. Unbelievable stuff from Brown Critter. Nobody out for the Waluigi Spitballs here. Trying to play upset on one of the best teams in the league. Runners on the corners. You have to think they have an opportunity to take the lead in this game. The 0-1 swung on. Pass toed at... But watch out, PD doesn't run until now. That might cost him at the plate. He is 
safe at the plate at seven to six. He's willing this team through this game. And guess what? They have nobody out here as they're on their sixth hitter, Purple Toad. This could possibly be one of the best innings of the year for the spitballs. And it will continue. Nobody out. Purple Toad's going to have an RBI. It's eight to six. I don't think we've ever seen anything like this from the spitballs. Paddle Goober says, Brown Critter potential MVP pick. It's certainly a possibility now. You can vote for the uh, All-Stars at the link if you think so. Daisy is done. Now it's Boomerang, bro. This is a mess for the Flowers, and it finally will get reined in at least with one out. The first out of the inning, Boomerang Bros only pitched two and two-thirds, has allowed ten runs. Ten earned runs. That is good. For, it's bad. It's a 26 ERA. On the ground, though, they will finally get out of it with a 4-6-3 double play. Two-run lead here with Toad at the plate. And guess what? Brown Critter has got it. Unbelievable stuff from the spitballs. And they're back at the top of the order because they batted around it last time. We'll be back here Good at night time. In just a moment after this game, but that is going to be one hell of a matchup. We've had three fantastic games so far. I think tonight is rivaling game day six as potentially one of the best nights of the year. Brown Critter is going to try for it again. They don't have chemistry. It is gone again. Brown Critter with those massive shoulders is literally dragging his team to a win his second home run of the game brown critter is easily going to be the first star with the way this thing is going right now for him i think he's a consensus first star of the week in game day number 10 now pd piranha is going to get this one down for a single and pd not a lot of power hitting but has had a solid game Unbelievable stuff from Brown Critter. Cannot imagine. Couldn't have imagined this type of game from him. I mean, I know he's good, but wow, is he showing it now. At least six home runs. Has added on plenty more RBI. Double play, unassisted. <laughs> Just like that for Ethan. And Tim. And that's an error. Nobody out here, though. Got one, got two, and luckily... Waluigi recovers that, and there's two out. Very rare from Brown Critter, but luckily we can just shove that under the bin because the rest of his performance has been so amazing. Can Wiggler do anything for this team? They have been a bit stagnant. Wiggler, deep to left center. Goodbye. That is gone. Wiggler with his third of the year, and it's now just a two-run game. Runner aboard. Watch out. This could tie the game. It's 10 to 8. It's on the ground in the gap. Funky Kong gets him aboard, keeps the inning alive. For the moment here for Blue Dry Bones, who has not missed today. And I wouldn't be surprised, but whoa, misses on that one. 0 oh 1. Red Yoshi into the game. I said before that Red Yoshi's one of the better pitchers for this team, but there's Blue Dry Bones. Going for third, watch out, he's safe. Oh, throw a third, but bases are loaded for Red Paratroopa. 14 for 31 with six RBI and had a home run in his last game. This ball is deep to center field, but it's at the wall. It is caught at the wall. Red Paratroopa was this far from hitting a grand slam and giving this team a two-run lead. But instead, they are down two still. They claw it back a little, but they have had no answers today for the Waluigi Spitballs. They got a Red play. Koopa. Also another one of these single type hitters. Maybe he can have a deep drive this time. No, he's going to ground to the five, four, three double play to end it. The Daisy Flowers find some defense. They have only three outs. There's nothing more that the Spitballs can do right now then get the next three outs. They can improve. Almost had another. This is on the ground. 
And Brown Critter's got two of the three. Brown Critter with an all-time performance. They're down to their last out on the road. Here's Ethan. This ball is going to be caught. One, two, three. That's the ball game. Brown Critter has two home runs in this game and absolutely wills the Waluigi Spitballs to their fourth win of the season. An unbelievable effort from them. The Daisy Flowers lose in an unexpected fashion 10 to 8. All the hype, all of the buildup, all of the games. Both these teams have shown why they deserve to be number one, but only one team can take that title. It is the fourth game of the night. Birdo at Wario. Why should I keep you waiting? Let's get it on, baby. Yellow Magic tonight. He decides to go contact hit here on two out and gets himself aboard just in time. Now brings up Red Critter, who is not afraid of homers either. Through nine games, has seven home runs, batting 639. And this ball is deep to left field, but it just pulls foul. It was hot. Maybe not so deep as I thought. 0-1. The off-speed. Contacted. And it's grabbed by Wario. What a grab by Wario at second base. And they get the toughest part of any order in the league out. Five home runs behind just Hammer Bro on this team. Always a threat. This ball is jacked! Left center field, but watch out. We could have it. No, it's so high that they're not going to try for it. That is a gone ball. Unbelievable moonshot from Yellow Piata. And it's two to nothing. That might be the first example of a baseball this year that they don't try for it because I don't think it was possible for them to get it robs every home run that goes his way bit of a misstep there in right field not an error but probably should have had that so two on with one out for gray shy guy who's 15 for 33 better than his fellow shy guy the red one but unfortunately grounds in to the 463 that's, that's too off got to keep it off the plate if you're birdo this one's over the plate deep to left center it's a missile Gone! Fire Hammer Bro with his seventh of the year, four to nothing. Man, oh man, the Birdo Bows have had a couple of uh, innings this year. A couple of times they've let up some homers, and Birdo is tired early. Only Not good. one in a third innings. I think that is probably her shortest pitching stand all season. And Toadsworth is going to hit a double here. Will Bunoki go for home? She will. Toadsworth with an RBI double, and it's 5 nothing. This ball is over the plate for a strike. Watch out. This could get out of hand here. This ball gets down, and it's 6 to nothing. Golly. What an inning here from the Wario Muscles. I say that through gritted teeth, and Red Magic Koopa doesn't even last an out. No recorded out. What are we doing? Folks, the Birdo Bows are in trouble early. This one, though, is on the ground. It's going to be a 4-6-3. They finally get out of the inning. But that is a certified mess. They might have to go deep in the order tonight. And they Joe says the Birdo Bows looking like the Birdo Dolts right now. And you betcha. That's 1-2-3. Green Critter lines out the left. The Bows. Or the Birdo O's right now. Three O's in three trips. King K. Rule at least gets the single, which brings aboard Red Critter. You really need a bomb from him right now. Strike one. What is that? What What are we doing, Lakitu? What is that ball? That's not a strike. Where? One and one. One and one. This is over the plate and deep to left field. Say goodbye to that ball. Red Critter. Coming up clutch. Eighth home run of the year. And that's what the Birdo Bows needed to get it a little closer. Six to two. He's out of them now after this pitch. Birdo sits on it though. Nicely done by Birdo. That's going to get in the outfield. Maybe, oh, that arrow helped them out. It got it to Yellow Pianta. Runners on the corners here. They're down four. But Gray Shy Guy has a chance to make it a little closer. Gray Shy Guy has five star swings, too. Will he use them down 0-2?
He will not. He's going to ground into the 4-6-3. Absolutely piss poor at bat from Gray Shy Guy. They do get two, thanks to a two-run shot from Red Critter. But still, in a tough spot, they the do have the ones out. Now it's Yellow Toad, who has been so consistent this year. 20 for 38 coming into the game, batting 526. You need him to ground out here. Big at bat for Red Critter, but this is deep to center field. And Yellow Toad says, I'm going to end this thing. Three home run. Three run shot from Yellow Toad, his second of the year. And this one could be over. The Wario Muscles are on the road to 8-2. and two. It's 9-2. to Use a shot right here. This team knows how to rob homers, though, but they couldn't rob red critters in left field. It was just too hard. This ball is deep. It's going to go foul. And so he's down 0-2 with the splitter upcoming from Wario. Do you sit on the right one? He does, and it's going to get in the gap. Magic Koopa's getting home. There's the shell. Close play there, and he's safe at third. Red Critter could step back up here in a 9-3 game. If he hits another homer, it's a three-run game again. The Muscles desperately need to get Red Critter off the plate right now. One out, runners on the corners. Take strike one. Didn't like that one. Likes this one, though. Deep to center. Will they rob it? It is caught. Caught by Yellow Pianta. Unfortunate there. Parker and Yellow Pianta are so good at robbing balls. I'm not surprised. Gets one home on the sack fly. It's 9-4, to four, but now there's two out. Strike one on me. I have only one home run this year. The Bows are in trouble here on the road. And it's grabbed by Firehammer, bro. That's the third. They only get two this season. We don't know what he's capable of yet, folks. It's going to be interesting. Yellow Magic Koopa. I know that ball is gone. Oh, I grab it. <laughs> reverse, reverse psychology, folks. Let's go. Thank God. Woo. Okay, that's not bad. That's two out. I thought I thought he had it. I thought that was gone. Trouble tonight, but getting anything going. This is going to be grabbed, and that is a double play. And the Birdo Bows will only have one more try to say they're the best team in the league. This could and end might... it all if Yellow Pianta goes yard. The first pitch is swung on on the ground in the gap. Bases loaded. Toads were thought about going for home. But here we go. You need to get Wario out here. King K rule is done. I would put... Oh, he puts in Red Yoshi. We are screwed. We're done. It's over. It's over, folks. This ball from Wario could be his first home run of the year. It is foul. Just foul. And it's 0-1. Strike two. Red Yoshi. Can he get him out of here? Swung on. Over the head. It's now 10 to 4. Make it 11 to 4. How about 12 to 4? It will be. Wario with a 3 RBI double. And I call that over. I'm the Bird Bow's owner. And I think this game is over. Shit. Fuck, man. What a... Let up too many hits tonight, that is for sure, and Parker's going to add to it. How about that? There's the arrow. Wario's coming home. This is a slaughter now at, at the city. First pitch. Taken for a strike by me. Wario Muscles trying to close it out and go to 8-2. and two. Be the only team at 8 wins in the Triple SL. The 0-2. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Toadsworth. Gets the last batter out, and that's the ball game. The Wario Muscles absolutely throttle the Bows at home. They are the undisputed number one team in the league. And it pains me to say that, but GG to Parker and the Wario Muscles, 13-5, to the final score. I'm not going to leave you waiting very long. Let's get it rolling here. Game number five in the Triple SL tonight for game day number 10. Good luck to both these teams. Let's see who can win in the garden here at night.
Opening pitch for Goomba. Let's see how he does. Hey, he gets a line out right away to, from Pink Yoshi. Here are the dry bones, of course, folks, who are the best hitters in the league, bar none. Uh, best, most consistent, I would say. The most consistent pair. I always say best. I have to clarify things, you know. They're the most consistent pair in the league, for sure. And green dry bones, look at that. Another hit. Both of these guys average above 600, and they have for the entire season. With hits just like that one. But hold on, it's robbed. And a double play will end the inning. Dry Bones gets it robbed by Blue Magic Koopa there at second. And that is... Bottom of the second, and here he is. This is a deep ball. But what did I say about this stadium? It can also turn home runs into outs. Not just singles into doubles, doubles into triples. Home runs become out sometimes. And that was certainly maybe a home run in a different stadium, but not this one. Neutralizing one of their biggest hitting threats. There's no doubt about that. Two down here for Green Toad. And it's off of Paragoomba. It gets down. Green Toad will get aboard thanks to the error. Try to think about Blue Critter. Yeah, he's pitched seven and a third. He's got a 10 ERA, so not the most amazing ERA, but it's it it could improve here, especially if this game stays like it is right now. Jeff robs that one at short. It's still scoreless after two. Peach Monarchs. They were trying to march and find their way back into the playoff race here. Both these teams would like to win. That seems that was shocking. Almost a homer there for Green Dry Bones for the Bowser Jr. rookies. And now in the bottom of the third, they have runners on first and second. Opportunity here for them to get the first score. This is going to be past Paragoomba. Bases loaded. Bowser Jr. rookies can take a big step to secure in their playoff spot as we're almost halfway through the season. Bases loaded with one out. This is past Caden. Past Jeff, rather, and Caden's at third. That's an RBI single for the captain. His fourth of the year. one nothing. they open the scoring. Following this up is Green Hammer Bro, who flew out deep to right. If he flies out here, it wouldn't be bad. Probably getting a run. But down 0-2. Here's the 0-2. It's swung on and straight to... Oh, it's off of Paragoomba's arm again. And the error is going to bring two home. Maybe three. Bowser Jr. safe. A massive error by Paragoomba. And that is just going to blow open the scoring here. I think Paragoomba needs to be done. Done. D-O-N-E at second base. He has proven that he cannot play that position. Absolute mess already, and you put Brown Critter in a bad position, or Blue Critter, rather, and he has to go. Peach is going to step in, but I, I think that Paragoomba, it, the tough part is, how do you get anybody to, to trade for Paragoomba? I mean, it, it's just so hard. Maybe one of the evil characters, Bowser, or something like that, but how do you convince somebody to, to take that? You're unable to trade him for any of the duplicates on free agency, so you're kind of stuck with him, unfortunately, and that is a bad feeling to have for the Monarchs. They got two outs here, though, for Green Toe. This is a pop fly to center field. Somebody's got to get to that. Yep, they do. Bad, bad error. A game-changing error from Paragoomba, who could have had a double play. Instead, it is four to nothing. But hey, the Monarchs. Four. Strike one here on Jeff. Blue Critter gets a board, has a single. On the ground, gets in the gap in between first and second. One of those rare singles. And so, big opportunity here for Peach to get this game closer. Not going to use her heart ball. She's going to ground. No, she just grounds out. Thought it'd be a double play for a moment, but Peach has continued to show. She has not had... Good decision making this year. Baby Peach almost had a big one. Pow ball is going to cause an error. Blue Critter is going to get home thanks to it. And hey, error giveth, error taketh. They get their first run there. 
on the air thanks to the pow ball. And now Pink Yoshi's going to get one home. It's 4-2. to two. Hold on here, folks. Not so fast, my friend. Pink Yoshi with a nice RBI. Only his second RBI of the year. But hey, that's a good time for it. Now you got Green Dry Bones. Perfect person to have up with consistent hitting. This is a deep ball for Green Dry Bones. So that's not what you wanted out of him. You'd rather him have a big shot. That's grabbed. You'd rather Green Dry Bones do what he normally does. He got too much underneath this ball. That is the third out, unfortunately. But hey, they get two. One Maybe of them was don't need to use them every time. I think they need to think about that a little bit more. Just because you got wings doesn't mean you got to use them every time. Nice grab, though. Paragoomba gets the double play. That will end the fifth inning, folks. A big stop for the Peach Monarchs. Hold on a second here. They got a shot here. They're going to have Pianta up second in the top of the six. Guess what? It's the fourth close game of the night within two runs. Goomba on the ground. How about a 6-4-3? Paragoomba. Inning killer. <laughs> Unfortunate. Nothing there. They're only going to have three more outs. The Bowser Jr. rookies are on their way to winning on the road. Going to six and four. Here is Goomba. With the... Oh, an error by Jeff. Error by Jeff. That is unfortunate. Could have gotten them out of the inning here. Just down two. But watch out. They could be putting themselves out of reach here. With Green Koopa who got a big one. There's another one. RBI single for Green Koopa. And look at that. That's going to bring home two because of the fire. It is six to two. That could be the bells ringing on this game for the Monarchs. They could be dropping to three and seven and could be firmly outside looking in on a playoff spot heading into the All-Star break. Oh, man. Now you have Green Dry Bones up who hit a nice shot last time. And this is a deep ball. Deep drive to center field. It's in right center. Baby Peach has got it for the second. Goomba is going to tag up, go to third. Koopa is going to tag up, go to second. So the advancing the runners, they're a nice job. I think this is the first time I've seen two runners tag up at the same time this season. Smart from them. And so Caden can just get a single and drive home some more. The 0-1 is swung on. On the ground, Paragoomba's got it. That's the third. And Ugh. Peach has not shown that she can do a lot about that. This ball is lined out. One, two, three, game over. Bowser Jr., it's not a flashy win, but God, do they like the win anyway. Solid victory, and they are on a nice little streak of their own. They are 6-4. and four. A team that was under 500 for most of the season is now two games above it here in the Triple SL. And get their fifth win of the season, go to 5-5 five and five and get to 500. Uh, yeah, it, it's going to be tough. They need help. They need to be able to limit the home runs and just overall get outs. You just need to get people out because this team can go on stretches of hitting single after single after single after single that can really punish teams, and we've seen it so far this season. Last game. Here we go. I'll give you a little bit of the extra intro here because uh, I paused this early. Let's get it on here at the mansion. Two. Daisy Flowers will be number three. Uh... I think, yeah, the Daisy Flowers will be number three no matter what because the Mario Fireballs, if they get to seven and three, they won't have the head-to-head. -head. This is a deep drive here for Blue Toad. Potential Yellow Pianta at the plate. He is going to be tagged out. Yellow Pianta is thrown out. What a play here by Luigi to prevent the run. Huge throw by Luigi and Mitch actually made the throw and Pianta gets stuck in between because Blue Pianta's at third. That's a big second out. This could really help him get out of the inning scoreless again. What a throw. Strike one here on Andrew. Again, this team overall, everybody averages pretty well. But Andrew, only 11 for 35. And he cannot add on to it. Only batting 314. And that is that. Got him out. Just like that. Huge, huge throw from center field for Mitch. What a put out. I got some steak. There you go it right there thank you here's green critter now in a scoreless game with runners on first and second big time for him maybe he could pull something off no home runs a little bit disappointing uh, considering how well green critter's doing for birdo this is a deep drive to center field it is caught caught by red me 
for the second out. Big catch there. The defense is showing out right now for both these teams. Can Green Toad do anything about it? This is on the ground, or it's grabbed by Blue Toad. That is the end of the inning. Two stranded defense is playing the biggest factor. Three Will anybody home? He is only three RBIs, but he hits so many balls that I wouldn't be surprised. It's Dark Bones. Strike one on Dark Bones. That looked off the plate. Nice hit from Dark Bones. That's going to get in the outfield. Will Luigi try for home? He is going for home. Plate to plate. Laser beam. He tags him out. Luigi should know better than that. And that's the second out. Laser beam by Piata. Absolutely got him. That's going to get into the outfield though. But thrown out. Oh man, over the head of Piata. What's going on here? The pow ball got everybody. I thought he'd get thrown out, Dark Bones. But instead there's two aboard. The defense is making a big difference here, and that's why we're scoreless in the bottom of the third with two out. This is in the gap. Bases loaded. Bases loaded jam here for the Mario Fireballs with fire, bro, at the plate. He has two home runs this year. Star swing is foul. Star swing for Luigi. Foul here for fire, bro. The second one is swung on, adjusted nicely, that gets down. That's the first score of the game. It's going to be a two RBI single for Firehammer, bro. What an adjustment he made, folks, on that ball. Scooted over and was able to get that hit when it was curving outside. What a hit by Firehammer, bro. That's eight RBIs for him this season. Huge, 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 to say the least. And that cracks open a scoring here in the bottom of the third. Still two out, still an opportunity maybe for Green Shy Guy. To add on to the lead here with the runner at third. And that is not going to be. Blue Toad is finally able to grab that one. But there we go, Luigi. Next one in the chat on YouTube is happy about that. On the for board first, the Luigi Knights fans are pleased right now. They're up two to nothing. Even the Piantas. The 0-1. Swung on. It is a contact hit, but it's grabbed. And there's a double play. Double play by Green Critter. And they keep Mario off the scoreboard again in the fourth. Can it be Luigi to add on to it? He had a little bit of a dinger earlier. And this is a deep ball, but it's grabbed. And there's a double play. What a double play. What a hopping grab by Yellow Toad at third. That is huge. And that keeps him within two. Nothing there for Luigi Knights in the bottom of the fourth. Man, oh man. It feels like something big is going to happen at the end of this game. I just don't think it's going to stay like this in this tight. And it solidified uh, Fire Hammer, bro, as a must start for this team. Dark Bones does not advance to second, but it gets first and second on here for the Knights with nobody out. Big opportunity in the bottom of the fifth to really put some insurance up. This is a deep drive. That's going to get one home for sure. Green Magic Koopa's got an RBI here, and it's at least a double. Mitch is thinking about going for home, and they screw up the buddy pass. Two RBI double, and double the lead to four. This is an absolute mess up here. Let's take a look at this one again. I don't know what happened. Mario tried to pass this over. Oh, the fire. That's what happened. Even then, it was just a mess out there. Big time mess, big double. Makes it four to nothing. Blue Pianta, unfortunately, it might not last. It was a very solid effort, but don't know if his team is helping him that much. He's led up four. It might be five. This is deep to right field. It is gone. Home run to make it 6 nothing. Fire Hammer Bro is third of the year. About time he got robbed so much here. In a couple games this season. Now Fire Hammer Bro is getting the bombs. The dingers that he should. Third home run. This game's wide open. And now Mario's got to step in to try and get it reined in. This is a pretty big deficit. The Mario Fireballs have not had a comeback from down six this season. It's either they've been ahead or they've been behind. And it's stayed that way. CJ Willis saying Luigi is little brother no more. You're damn right. Luigi's... Uh, brother supremacy right now bro this will get down for green critter with one out one aboard green toad back up 
Again, bet it, best uh, next to Dark Bones, he's pretty sneaky, Green Toad is, and he's going to add another single to this. Green Toad averages 633, all singles with five RBIs. Very, very surprising at how he's been playing. But watch out, double play, just like that. The Mario Fireballs, after putting up 15 yesterday, they are looking like they are not going to have anything today. This will be the second shutout at home, potentially, for Luigi Knights. And they are down to their last out. The Mario Fireballs are snuffed right now. I should have saved that line for the last out, honestly. I like that line too much. should have saved it. That is the ball game. Green Critter grabs that. Folks, the fire didn't even start. Nobody started the fire. We certainly didn't start it. The Luigi Knights put that fire out. Six nothing, an absolute defensive masterclass from them. Just a complete controlled game for the Luigi Knights in our last one. And the fireballs get snuffed.